Hey there, this is Mike at uh, reachkeep.com and uh, I'm a touch out of breath and hiking to the top of this mountain, a beautiful uh, canyon back in here. And I wanted to, uh, well, take my glasses off so you can see me. I wanted to chat with you a moment about uh, how to turn canyons into uh, developments, how to turn them into something prosperous. If we look across this valley the other direction, I'll show you in just a moment, you'll see a beautiful, uh, a beautiful resort community where somebody had the vision of taking, you know, old sagebrush canyons like this and, and digging them up, flattening them out, and turn them into roads, and putting in sewer lines, and building uh, houses, and, and turning it into uh, golf courses, and uh, parks, and all sorts of things. And it's a lot like the local church. And I really am here to promote one thing, and this is our conference that we have coming up, and the importance of taking time to have some vision of moving yourself from what is, you know, sagebrush and some rough stuff uh, to getting yourself to where there's really something, uh, a development, a beautiful area. And I know all of us really believe in uh, discipleship, the idea of taking people and, and maturing them and helping them to grow in the, in the things of God. And that's really what uh, uh, this is, this great big object lesson here uh, of discipleship. Someone had a dream, someone had a vision of taking uh, something that was kind of a a, saw, a sort of a raw and a, a rough product and turn it into something that was much more refined. And that's exactly uh, what our conferences are designed for and what ReachKeep is for, is to help local churches to refine and to get themselves in better positions to be able to, uh, to help people to be developed and to be trained the way they, uh, they need to go. Uh, we're going to be spending uh, several hours uh, at this conference. It's really an all-day conference in uh, several different cities that we're doing it in. Uh, and we're going to be training on some of the very practical things, uh, just like uh, if you were uh, to be working in this area here and, and taking these roads and uh, taking this canyon and turning it into uh, something. You'd need to be more than just philosophical, it'd be practical. You'd need bulldozers and you'd need uh, ditch diggers and trench ho track hose and all those things. And you need irrigation and all the different things to turn it into a, uh, a beautiful place. And that's what we're talking about is just some nuts and bolts, practical things. How to build and attract, young, how to build a ministry that attracts young families. How to reach out to the young families. And it really is a strategy uh, where you really sharpen up your culture, uh, where you can attract young families, where you sharpen up your teamwork and, and uh, working with uh, you know, your ministry team so they are working better because you can't do it all alone. And then uh, the last thing is just really sharpening up the actual programs that you have, uh, your nursery program and all that. Uh, yesterday, my wife and I drove down and we're doing a little R&R &R here, uh, uh, relaxing. We drove down to a couple different uh, golf courses and just, uh, we're not really golfers, but we drove around and looked at them. They're just fascinating places. One of them is uh, they've imported the sand from Hawaii uh, for their for their little uh, uh, sand traps and stuff. Uh, we saw that one. Then we went to another one uh, that there was obviously uh, not near as much attraction and uh, or care, I should say, given to it. And the palm trees were dying and the grass was nasty and it wasn't really the kind of place uh, uh, that was done with excellence. And I believe that you and I know that we need to uh, treat our churches and, and, and treat the people we deal with excellence and help them to be what, uh, what they need to be. So I want to encourage you to, uh, uh, to click the button here, buy a ticket, and, and invest some time. You know, the investment that went into all this, we were talking about putting roads in and infrastructure and all that. It's the same thing in a church. You need infrastructure. You need time behind the scenes, the non-Sunday times, when you can really uh, build what you need to build and focus on what you need to, uh, to, to make yourself a, just a beautiful, respectable uh, a ministry that is uh, filled with excellence and worthy of, of our Lord. So I want to encourage you to uh, you know, buy a ticket here uh, on this site or actually click a button, go to the site, you'll see it there. And uh, looking forward to seeing you wherever, whichever city it is, Denver area, uh, Sinclair, Wyoming area, or uh, Chicago area. And uh, God bless you. We look forward to uh, uh, building out some of these things together. God bless.